Okay, so for this project, we're going to pick an existing logo and we're going to improve it. Okay, so I'm going to show you one that I want to improve um, and then I'll show you one that um, works well and doesn't need to be improved. Okay, because you want to find a logo that you can improve upon. If it's already really good, there's, there's nothing to improve. Okay, so I'm picking Ikea. All right, I love Ikea, um, but their logo, um, I think I can improve upon. So, so this is the logo of it. All right, it's very thick lettering. Um, it has this you know, like oval shape and you know, it has the blue and yellow, which is fine. Blue and yellow is fine. That's that's their their brand colors. That's totally fine. Um, but this right here does not match their furniture. And their furniture, their most uh, famous furniture, um, is like their cubing, uh, their cube shelves. Okay, and they have the cubing units for everything. Okay, you can have uh, so many different combinations of this. Um, but this, like, it just doesn't feel like it matches. Like this is very modern, minimalist, and I would not say that about their logo okay um this kind of looks like it could just be some like drugstore logo or you know just like some wholesale club or something like that that does not like scream to me that's all about like very stylish minimalist uh furniture okay so um to show you one that does work really well is um target okay obviously that's all their um, logos and then here, and I know like Target, um, you can buy a bunch of different things, but they unify the whole store by with obviously the red and the white, and even like they have their employees all wear red, and even in the background you can see like the their walls are red, and they have like those little half circles to um, mimic the their logo, and on the outside they have it, and even in their all their signage they have inside the store, they have the red carts, like everything is very well tied together. It's a very strong brand identity um, and it works to unify the whole. But not so much with Ikea. So we're gonna, we're gonna work on that because this is like the Ikea stuff. Um, and you can see even how like the logo clashes with the furniture they're selling. It doesn't really feel like it makes sense. Like just how nice and minimalist it, everything else is. It, the logo drives me nuts, um, but I love Ikea. So I want to fix that. So if I could fix it, um, this is what I would do. So um, it's four letters and the colors are going to keep the same because that's, that's their brand. It's fine. The font I would change to Arial and I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Um, that's just the name of the font. It's simple, clean, and it's more geometric. Um, the shape of the logo, instead of having this very weird oval shape here that just doesn't really make any sense. It doesn't go with anything. Um, I'm gonna have a square because it references their their shelving units. Okay, so it makes a lot more sense. Um, and then once you have this stuff done, like kind of getting some ideas down, then you just might draw a few thumbnails. Again, you think about readability, kind of like what we did with the name design. That's why we kind of do that first as an intro project to kind of start getting you thinking about that. Um, so I did a few different thumbnails and I didn't do anything in color right now. I just kind of drew it out what I wanted. I was, I, these are pretty similar because I had an idea of how I wanted it to look. Um, I wanted a square and since the, you know, their name is four letters, it works perfectly. And then just how I want to break it up. So like if I'm just going to have one big box with one square, one color or am i going to break it up in smaller boxes or just even minimize that a little bit more by just having this little shape in the middle okay so i'm just kind of getting some ideas down i'm going to show you what they look like in color so this is the first one okay so um i have it where it's this is my first one i did here okay so this is the aerial font where it's like i talked about simple clean um just looks a lot more minimalist like at their um, furniture they sell and, um, and I'm still using the blue and yellow colors okay so that's my first one I did um, and then this is going to be my second or not second oops this is my second one so this is one where I had those inside boxes like I did right here 
but now I'm doing it where um, I have the blue and yellow boxes and then the font is in white. Okay, so I'm breaking it up a little bit more. Um, I'm not so sure I like this one. I feel like it's a little too busy. I felt like the first one was too plain. So I think by the time I get to the third one, I haven't done the third one yet. If I do the third one where it has just those lines to indicate um, the boxes without going all the way across, um, I think that's that's where I'm gonna look, uh, work on. So that's why I have to do a few different narrations because once you go to actually trying it out, you may realize once you do it, it may not work out as well as you wanted it to. Okay, so um, that's what you're gonna be doing. You're gonna find a logo that you can improve on. Um, think about the colors. Are you going to change the colors? Are you going to keep them? Um, are you going to keep the font or similar font um, if we don't have exact font? Or are you going to change it completely like I did? What shape is going to be of the logo? Somehow there's going to be some shape to it, um, like the outer shape or any other shapes you're going to use inside of it. And then just think about um, and just draw out some thumbnails about how the new logo would look.